Hi everyone, uh, my name is Les. I work on the Applied AI team at Meta AI and working with FSTP. So today I want to show you a newer feature uh, that will help improve the performance of your um, distributed training with FSTP. So specifically we're going to cover the uh, newer FSTP transformer wrapper. Um, to get going on that, uh, the first thing you need to do is ensure that you're running at least uh, 1.12 or higher. So for example a nightly. So in this case I'm using uh, a recent nightly, June 12th. Um, so that's a requirement to um, ensure that you have the transformer wrapper. And to confirm that you are all set up, you want to do this import right here, uh, the form torch distributed .fstp .wrap, uh, import, and this is the uh, what you're looking for, transformer auto wrap policy. Um, you also need to import func tools because we're going to make a partial uh, function out of this. So uh, once you have uh, this confirmed that you can pull the policy, then you'll set that up uh, with func tools .partial. Um, you're going to basically use the transformer auto wrap policy here. And the big thing is you need to register your transformer layer class. Uh, so in this case, if we were using T5, it would be a T5 block. Um, the question, and the part of the reason for the video here, is how do I know what transformer layer class or what class should I be registering here to make sure that this is an efficient sharding plan? So uh, the layer class in the transformer is going to be wrapping your uh, multi-head attention and your feed-forward layers. And so that's what you want to look for. So I've got a couple examples here uh, to show you just how to look for that. So we'll start with uh, DeepVit uh, from Lucid Rain's um, Vit PyTorch. And if we walk through the model definition here, you'll see this class residual at the top. But more importantly, um, we scroll down to the actual transformer uh, lock itself. The key thing we want to look for is the internal layers. And so we've got self.layers.append, and we have this residual class wrapping the attention and the feed forward. So in this case, uh, for uh, using deep bit, oops, we will want to use that as our registered layer class. So um, you will need to import it. Uh, so for example here, uh, deep fit import residual, that would allow you to do that. And then of course you'd end up uh, putting this, oops, right here. Yeah, there we go. And then you would be set to use that uh, for this specific transformer. So another example, just to get you familiar with this, uh, let's look at the CrossFit um, well, model definition. But key point, once we jump in the transformer block, we see the layers being built up here, and we have a pre-norm class wrapping the attention and the feed forward. And so in this case, we CrossFit import pre-norm, and this would change to pre-norm here. And one more example, um, CIIT, not sure how to pronounce that, kite, I guess. Um, same thing if we jump into the transformer. We've got layer scale wrapping both our attention and our feed forward so that would be the class that we want to register and so import here and then we change this to layer scale and one last definition uh, showing hugging face in this time or in this case uh, transformers modeling t5 um, if we go into the t5 so that'll be under models in the hugging face library and then you'll look for your specific transformer uh, model definition in this case modeling t5 and what we have, you'll see there's some different, typically across tension, tension, so forth, but the main one you want to look for, in this case, T5 block, and you know it's the right thing because we are appending self-attention or across attention and the feed forward uh, layers there. So that's what you'd want to use uh, for T5, in this case, like down here. And after you've set that up, you are ready to go. Uh, the main thing is just you'll import uh, in your main uh, body of code, uh, FSTP proper. And then once you go to invoke FSTP to actually shard the model and get ready and initialize FSTP, you'll pass in this key parameter right here, auto wrap policy will be your transformer auto wrapper policy that we have set up up here. So that's how it works. Um, generally seeing very good performance improvements. Uh, the, def the main difference here is that when you run with the default policy, that's just going to be a, a block of, of number of parameters so it doesn't understand your model uh, and therefore it can make some um, suboptimal choices for how to shard. Uh, if you pass in this transformer layer class, it has a much better understanding of your model where it would be appropriate breaks to shard. And as I mentioned, you do see very good performance improvements from that. So hope that helps.